Have you ever seen a series metamorphise while you're watching it? Such as it starts out being a certain genre, but by the end of it has turned into something completely different. An easy example being how The Sopranos pilot started out as a comedy series before slowly taking a darker tone before literally ending on a black screen. With these series where it is based on a pre-existing source material, they usually keep the different tone at the start of the series. But what if they didn't? What if they instead edited the start of the series to fit in with the tone of the later parts? That is the fate of 2.5 Dimension Seduction. The manga series that this anime is based off is unique, as it starts out as an edgy series with the manga showing graphic nudity with panty and butt shots galore, as the author had originally planned it to only be three volumes long, a short edgy series about cosplay all situated in one room. Instead, after some prompting from his editor, the series transformed into a harem comedy series. It is enjoyable, definitely better than some others I could name. But the manga does feel like it is dragging out the romance part of the story. I mean, one of the most recent chapters, 166, basically asks the main character why the fuck he is still hyper-focused on 2D girls over the girls that are right in front of him. I love this in-universe meta joke, as it acknowledges that for the audience it has been 160 chapters since it was obviously set up that he likes Ruresa and vice versa. The commentary also enables the series to give the reader a valid reason for the delay in copulation, with the answer being similar to the one given in High School DxD, and is ironically enough one of the least contrived reasons as to why the obvious main couple have not yet got together. Now returning back to the Echi, as you could probably tell, the later chapters heavily dial this aspect back. With the series focusing more on the comedy and drama elements of cosplaying, this does not mean that there is no more sexual content but rather is limited to the generic beach episode level, where the girls walk around in swimsuits. The chapters involving one of the girls having their op eye out are long gone, despite there being more girls than ever in the 100% not a harem. Now, with that context for the manga out of the way, it may shock you, if you are not paying any attention, to know that the first episode of 2.5 Dimension Seduction has no real direct etchy moments in it, despite their existence in the manga the anime is adapting. The closest you get to any real moments is this half shot of Rurei-san's butt, which the manga showed in its entirety. Now the question you are no doubt left with is whether the changes to the anime are good or bad. As I previously mentioned, the changes do help with the overall tone of the series, making the viewer associate it more with a series like A Couple of Cuckoos over High School DxD, which will definitely cause less people to drop it as the series goes on, and the etchy moments naturally decline causing viewer retention to be higher. However, the problem with the anime series tone correction is it does not match the tone of the first episode that is adapting. Moments such as this scene in episode 2 are obviously crying out for some nudity or something etchy to happen rather than the bland camera angles we got. Removing the etchy has made these first few episodes feel as if they have been overly censored, as the story the anime is adapting lends well to there being nude scenes and etchy moments in the anime episodes. By removing these scenes, JC's staff have limited the anime We're on the verge of greatness. We were this close. and as a result has potentially torpedoed this series for some people, as why do you want to watch a manga adaptation of something which does not properly adapt the source material? It feels wrong. Alternatively, the other way to look at this is rather than doing a rug pull moment such as in Zombieland Saga, the anime is staying true to what the series turns out to be. As etchiness aside, this series is still enjoyable to watch, and unlike some other series where they drastically changed the show compared to the manga, I will still be watching the remaining episodes, as I am actually interested in the cosplay storyline. Ultimately, this anime is for people who like Rental Girlfriend. Hmm, there's something wrong with your story, but I can't put my finger on it. <gasps> of course, you don't have friends! I mean, people who like quintessential quintuplets. The lack of any explicit etchy scenes may make some of the earlier episodes feel limited in scope, but as it goes on, no doubt the correction in tone will not lead to a jarring shift away from etchy moments, as it occurs in the manga. Time will tell if the anime made the correct decision, but in the short term, personally, I wish they had just animated the etchy scenes. But if it was either that, or not getting the anime, I'm glad the anime has been made.